What's up everybody, I'm F8 Jersey Brony and this is a video of me racing my S-Class Honda NSX against R2 racing cars, or I should say supercars, in a single player match. And uh, keep in mind that my setup, my engine is all bone stock except a upgraded supercharger and an intercooler. The only thing that's are upgraded are my platform handling, my drivetrain, except the transmission, and my aero and tire compounds. So everything else was, is all fully upgraded except my engine. My engine is only slight upgraded with a bone stock engine with a supercharger in it. So, yeah. So anyways, we are now in the flat out area. We just passed the Lamborghini. And the Lamborghini, as you saw there earlier, it was just right behind in my screen. And here he is again. So as we enter the chicane, this is actually one of my most frustrating parts of the track as I accidentally cut corners. I really don't want to cut corners there, but the thing is, it's really hard to tell that if you're in the inner apex or not. So I'm going to hit the Lamborghini uh, Mercialago there as well. That will give me a dirty driving strike as well as a corner cut strike. So we're now in lap two. We're about to enter our yep, little flat out there with the brakes to avoid hitting the Lamborghini. Keep in mind, it's considered dirty driving if you intentionally hit your opponent. Or if you hit your opponent a little, like, a little too hard. A slight tap is okay because, you know, in racing, you can't just pass someone cleanly. It, sometimes it doesn't work that way. So now I'm right behind uh, a Kona Zegajera. And the Lamborghini nearly tried to pit maneuver me. So we're now back in the flat out section of the track. Then it goes to Lambo again. Decides to hit the brakes while I still uh, keep my foot on the throttle. We're 150 miles an hour. About to enter the chicane. Okay, that was clean right there. That was clean. And hit the Kona Zeg again. Actually, that was actually my first time I hit the Kona Zeg again. I nearly lost my control there and hit the guardrail. Now in lap three, that's it. Head, wow, I'm about to head flat out right there. Not too bad. That was actually pretty good. All right, so I am now right behind three cars. I'm, a, as far as I can tell here, is a uh, Pagani Waira, a Gumper Apollo, and a Hennessy Venom, driven by Darius Flynn. Here we are in a 90 degree corner again. About to enter flat out. The flat out corner, I should say. The flat out section, I should say. Right, not too bad on the chicane. I took a little too wide there on the on the Wyra. I wasn't really um, trying to bump him out of the track. Um, yeah, that was like an, a dangerous way to pass your opponent. I mean, it's totally legal, but it's kind of dangerous to do so because you're going so wide to pass your opponent. The best way to pass your opponent is to get him from the inside. And I crashed right there. And I uh, gave Darius Split a little tap. So I passed the Gumper to Apollo, and oh, the Gumper's right there. Nope, decides to uh, kick my, lets me have second place. All right, there he's Flint right there still. He's still in the lead. And this is the final lap, so let's see what happens here. And the Gumper to Apollo decides to pass, but hits the brakes. All right, we're in back in the chicane. Ooh, cut corner. There he's Flint, I pass him up. And this might be it, this might be it. But wait, Flint's there, Flint. Oh, but he decide, decides to hit the brakes and then makes me pass him. And we got a winner. My Honda NSX beat a Hennessy Venom in the rest of the R2 class. And that's one of the reasons why you don't need 
have an R2 or an R1 to win races all the time. 